Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here from Easy PPC Tutorials. And in this really short video, I just want to give you a quick tip that will improve the performance of your Google ad campaigns. And that is basically to ignore Google's advice when it comes to setting up campaigns, because most of it is structured or designed to give Google uh, better performance from their own perspective, i.e. getting more of your money, not necessarily giving you better results in terms of cost-effective digital advertising. So as you work through Google ads, what you will see uh, when you set up campaigns is various tool tips that Google will flash up when you change settings, often when you disable uh, sort of default settings that are enabled when you create a campaign. So the best, uh, easiest example of this is when you set up a search campaign, by default, your search ads will be opted into the Google Display Network as well. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, which I'll link in the description of this one, you should never have the display network expansion enable in a search ad campaign because they're two kind of conflicting, very different styles of digital advertising. So if you go and disable this, which is a default enabled setting, Google's going to flash up this warning here to use display expansion. You're basically, they're telling you you're missing out on, on uh, your ads showing up in more places. You're missing out on conversions. I think in the past they used to talk about missing out on impressions and clicks and so on. What this advice is, is Google trying to steer you in a direction that's going to benefit them more than it's going to benefit you. By enabling display expansion, by keeping it enabled, that default setting, your ad will show more frequently, uh, but it's going to show to a less qualified audience, but the outcome is that Google's going to probably get more revenue from you. Your ads will show more, they'll be clicked more often, they'll get more build cost through your advertising, basically. And what they used to kind of do is, is hint more towards, oh, well, you're going to miss out on um, people seeing your ads and people clicking on your ads. They're pushing more towards the conversion piece or path here. But the, the message is the same. If you turn off the setting that we've handily enabled for you, you're missing out on something. Um, same here with the search partners, which actually compared to display network can perform quite well sometimes. But it's the same kind of principle. When you disable this, once again, Google is warning you that you're missing out on something. And so typically as a golden rule when doing Google ads, any type of campaign, search, display, video, whatever the case may be, if you see one of these tooltip type warnings or messages, basically you can almost always safely assume that it's Google acting in their own interest and not necessarily in your best interest. Sometimes your interest and Google's interests can align, but more often than not with these warnings, it's Google trying to tell you to do something, nudge you in the direction of uh, setting something in your campaign that's going to usually result in them getting more revenue from you. So if you bear that in mind as you go through the campaign setup process, uh, as you go through campaign optimization and so on, you can use this uh, knowledge to your advantage by saying, okay, am I being served as well as I possibly can here? Or is Google trying to push me down a path by doing things like opting my search advertising into display advertising features that's not necessarily going to give me better performance, but it's going to result in Google getting more revenue from me? Uh, as long as you're aware of this, you can then respond and kind of act accordingly. A little bit like if you go into a car dealership, for example, you know, the car dealer, you know, when you walk in there, they're going to try and potentially sell you a car that is more than you need, that's outside of your budget, that isn't necessarily what would be the most suitable thing for you. You know that before you walk in, um, and then you can kind of respond accordingly. You can stick to your guns and say, no, my budget is X, and I only want a hatchback, I don't want an SUV, or whatever the case may be. But because you know that before you walk in there, because everybody knows that the dealership and the salesperson is incentivized to sell you more car than you might need, it kind of works out for everybody. Same with Google here. I've got nothing really wrong with them trying to, uh, you know, benefit their own business. That's what business is all about. But but the way they present this uh, sort of helpful information and, and tool tips and so on is not, uh, I guess, uh, transparent enough for many advertisers who are new to the platform. They think, oh, Google's a helpful company. They're telling me something that's, uh, you know, beneficial to me. I should take heed of their advice. Um, and that doesn't always work out in your favor. So you bear that in mind as you see these tooltips, if you disable things or enable certain settings and optimize your campaigns, more often than not, you can safely ignore them because they're going to push you down a path that benefits Google more than it benefits you. So hopefully you find that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video for more um, Google Ads advice. Please subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you next time.